Flying here from the U.S. East Coast normally takes 28,000 gallons of jet fuel. But what if you could get that jet fuel not from drilling it out of the earth, but from vacuuming it out of polluted air? When you land in London and your plane is marshaled in by Sir Richard Branson, you know there's something special happening. His airline, Virgin Atlantic, has been working with a biotech startup called Lanzatech to do what some in the industry once thought impossible. The first ever carbon recycled fuel flight. This plane was fueled in part by factory smokestack gas. That's carbon monoxide and other toxins in there. But jet fuel, the kind that's in our wings on this cross-Atlantic flight, is just a different kind of carbon. And effectively, we're taking the carbon that is already about to go into the air, and we're putting it in an airplane. So right now, we're at the uh, Lancetec Freedom Pines Biorefinery in Soferton, Georgia. This research facility is where they use microscopic bugs to change pollution into something useful. So in very basic terms, they eat pollution. Yes. And they poop out it's, alcohol. That's exactly what they do. Yeah. The polluted air bubbles into the tank where the microbes live and do their thing. Water is removed and what's left over is ethanol that gets converted into fuel. So these totes uh, are the finished fuel. And this isn't something that's happening in the far off future or in theory. In fact, it's happening right now. These 5,500 gallon tanks of ethanol were all produced from pollution coming off of a steel mill in northeast China. It's been up and running since May. Uh, we're flying today using a blend of traditional fossil jets and Lancetex uh, sustainable jet fuel. That brings us to this breakthrough uh, flight. Today's engines can only tolerate a 50% mix of this super clean fuel. Branson says in the future, the mix could be as high as 80%. They'll also need government subsidies to make this work. It seems like it's so futuristic that it doesn't fall into any biotech category. That, that's, the pro that, that's the technical problem, but uh, I mean, technical problems, uh, if you can talk nicely to bureaucrats, they normally will sort them out. These carbon scrubbing refineries could attach to any steel mill around the world and are on track to start pumping out 125 million gallons per year by 2025. Cleaner air and less drilling. Dave Malkoff, The Weather Channel, London.